Good morning. In this video, you will be receiving free betting slips, free betting selections for today. In the first slip, I have prepared you 5.522 odds. In the second bet slip, we have 4.978 odds. And finally, in the last bet slip, I have prepared you 4.368 odds. Now, before we get started, or before having a look at the actual betting tips that we are supposed to be betting on today, let us quickly talk about Saturday. First, I mentioned that Saturday was a black Saturday. Arsenal losing was unexpected. At least I expected them to step up and score a goal. Manchester United failing to score a goal was also unexpected. And we also had other matches disappointing and resulting into a terrific losing Saturday. Anyway, that is of no concern currently. What we are focused on is ensuring this Sunday we have better results and we are in a position to record profit. And that is why I have gone an extra step and you are going to love this video. You only need to watch it till the very end. But before that, like the video, click the notification button and turn on notifications if it is your first time. And most importantly, click the subscribe button. Subscribe and let us get started. In our first bet slip, we have the following matches. A game from Germany Bundesliga. Stuttgart playing Bayern Leipzig. Now, this is a difficult game. This is a difficult game because both teams, they are appearing top of the table and they almost have equal results. Stuttgart, they have a notable goal scoring ability this season. And that is evidenced by the fact that in their last 11 Bundesliga matches, in 10 of the matches, they scored at least two goals. That is impressive. And at home this season, uh, they have played seven matches. That is Stuttgart we are talking about. And out of the seven matches, in six occasions, they were able to win and they only lost once. When you look at Bern Levkusen this season, that is their away team, they have been amazing last year too because they have maintained an unbeaten record in 13 matches coming into this particular game. So it's impressive. It's impressive. And to make it even sweeter, you look through the head-to-head -head records for the two teams, you realize that Bayern Leverkusen are definitely the better side. And that is why in this bet, I am inclined to bet on Bayern Leverkusen to be winning or a draw to Oka, the odd is 1.448. That is our first bet today. In our second game, we have a game uh, that is called playing mains. I didn't add that in the final bet slip because it isn't safe. Uh, so the second game is Atletico Madrid playing Almeria, a game from Spain La Liga. In this particular game, we realize that Almeria this season, they have been incompetent. They are finding it difficult to record victories, to win. They have lost their last 18 matches in the Bundesliga. I mean, in the Spain La Liga. When you look at Atletico Madrid, they have managed to win all their seven home games this season. So I see no other option other than Atletico Madrid winning. So the betting tip is Atletico Madrid to win. And then we have Granada playing Atletico Bilbao, Athletic Bilbao. A game from Spain La Liga once again. In this particular match, I'm expecting Athletic Bilbao to be in a position, okay, let me just read the reasoning. Athletic Bilbao, they have been impressive recently because they have won by motivating score lines. And for example, their recent motivating result was the 4-0 win against Rayo Valencano recently under the Spain La Liga tournament. Now, when they play Granada today, Granada is a team that is winless in their last 12 games. So that is already an advantage. And we are seeing a scenario in which Athletic Bilbao are in a position to win this particular game. And that is why we are betting on Athletic Bilbao to win or a draw to Oka. That is 1.215. And then we have Barcelona playing Girona, a game from Spain La Liga once again. In this particular match, we realize that Barcelona, they are up against a strong opponent. Because Girona... They have been scoring goals, and they are amazing. So we are expecting an entertaining game today when you look at Barcelona versus Girona. And I must say that although Girona is a better side, 
I can't write off Barcelona when they are playing at home. So I'm expecting them to have an upper hand or just get a point in this particular game. And that is why I am betting on Barcelona to win or a draw to occur. The odd is 1.158. And then we have Monza playing Genoa, a game from Italy, City A. In this particular game, it is evident that Monza are the clear favorites to win this particular match. And given that, if you look at their last Genoa matches, their last six matches played by Genoa, they have lost five of the last six matches they played away in Italy Serie A. So it it already shows and adds weight to the fact that Monza are the better team, and that is why we are betting on Monza to win or a draw to occur at an order of 1.304. Then we have a game from Italy Serie A, Salernitana playing Bologna. In the last three matches between these two teams, all of them ended in a draw. And you look at this game today, Salernitana, they have only won once this season. Bologna, they have lost once away this season. And in the other six matches they have played away this season, all of them ended in a draw. So I bet on Bologna to win or a draw to occur because I believe it is a solid option to back this morning. The odd is 1.277. And then we have Roma playing Fiorentina. Roma, we know very well that they have offensive abilities. They are always scoring goals, especially when they are playing at home. So I look at this game, and I look at Fiorentina's recent form. I see the perfect option to be backing an over market. So we are betting on over 1.5 goals at an order of 1.36. You combine the matches I've just mentioned, there are seven in total. You get a summation of 5.5522 odds. And that is wrapping up our first bet slip. In our second bet slip, we have the following matches. Eight games. The first match is Go Ahead Eagles playing Utrecht, a game from Netherlands, Eredivisie. Both teams have upped their play in their recent matches. Initially, when the season was beginning, both teams were performing this Mali, but recently, they have increased their style of play, and they have been registering amazing results coming to this particular match. Now, we realize that there's a greater difference in their position too, but I believe that they are almost of equal quality right now as we speak. And so I'm expecting a scenario whereby both teams to score is possible, and that is why we are betting on over 1.5 goals at an order of 1.21 in this particular match. In our next game in this particular slip, we have Fortuna Citad are playing Waljik, a game from Netherlands Eredivisie once again. Once again in this particular game, I am seeing an evenly matched contest where both teams seem to be having same capabilities. So both teams to score is highly likely in this particular game once again. And having a look at the recent two matches played by Fortuna Citad at home, I must say they were impressive because they won by a scoreline of 3-1 to one, and the other one they won by a scoreline of 4-1. to one. So I believe once again we are in a position to comfortably back the over market that is over 1.5 goals at an odd of 1.21 and that is our betting tip for this particular game. In our next game, we have Kilmanock playing Celtic, a game from Scotland Premier League. In this particular game, this is the second time these two teams will be meeting this season. In the former clash, Kilmanock was playing at home. In the former clash, Celtic were playing at home, Kilmanock was away. And in that particular game, Celtic thrashed Kil Kilmanock by a scoreline of 3 to 1. Now, you come and uh, have a look at uh, how Celtic and Kilmanock matches are fared on in terms of head-to-head. -head. You realize that in the last seven matches between these two teams, Celtic have always led at halftime and full-time in six of the matches. So I believe that betting on Celtic is an ideal option that we can consider in this particular game. But I feel that going for Celtic to win either of the halves, Celtic to win any of the halves is the better one because it has an odd of 1.18, or it is definitely the safer bet slip. And that is what we are betting on. And then we have our next game to be Nice playing Reims, a game from France League One. In this particular game, you realize that both teams, they are known for registering matches ending in a low number of goals. 
So, we look at this game today, I don't see a scenario in which the norm is supposed to be disrupted. I once again see a scenario whereby the match is likely in a position to end in a low number of goals being recorded. And you look at the last set to end between these two teams, you realize that they both ended in a draw. And now, it's going to be hard. Not It's, it's going to be a hard game for Nise because this season, you look at Nise, they have been amazing. Their defensive has been amazing. They have conceded only five goals this season. In fact, they have the best defense. But Rams. I, can't, I must say that Rams are going to give them a challenge in this game. And that is why instead of backing Nise to be winning, I went for a Nise double chance. Nise to win or a draw to Oka, the odd is 1.273. I still think that it is an amazing bet. In our next bet slip today, we have the game Clermont playing Lille, a game from France League One. Now in this particular game, Lille are better positioned to clinch a win in this particular game. In their last three matches, they have won all the three matches. And the amazing thing is that they have kept a clean sheet in the last three matches they played. I'm talking about Lille. I'm talking about Lille. <clears throat> now, Clement, in their last three matches, they have lost two and they have drawn one. And they have, scored only, they have scored only one goal. So in this particular game, I'm betting on Lille to win or a draw to Oka. The odd is 1.192. And then we have Strasbourg playing Le Havre, a game from France League One. In this particular game, I mentioned that under 2.5 goals is the most common outcome when these two teams are playing each other. Now, you realize that the under 2.5 has occurred in 11 out of their last 12 matches. That is the head-to-head -head matches. Under 2.5 has been recorded in 11 matches. Now, a draw is also a common scenario when both teams are playing and even individually, they record draws on their, part, on their matches. So in this particular game, I think the best option is to go for an Asian handicap. Le Havre, Asian handicap, positive 1.25. The odd is 1.237. Then we have Leon playing Toulouse. In this particular game, I realized that Toulouse, I've been the underdog when these two teams are playing because Leon have won 12 matches out of the last 14 games. We look at the head to head. When we look at the head to head record, we realize that Leon have dominated in the head to head record. And Leon are desperately in need of a win in this particular game that we also consider. But having lost their last three matches coming into this game and scoring only two times, I must say that it's going to be a difficult task for them today. You look at Tolus. Tolus are coming into these uh, from two back-to-back -back draws. So that is also a challenging fact. I don't love matches in which a team is uh, just from a series of draws, especially when uh, these two teams are teams that we know very well. They don't have the perfect strength to fight for the top four or even contending to win the league. So this game, the best option to back is over 1.5 goals. The odd is 1.22. And finally, in this bet slip, we have Lorient playing Marseille, a game from France League One, where we are betting on Marseille to win or a draw to a cup. But the reasoning is that in the last 10 matches, Lorient, they only won once. They lost five of the matches, and they drew in five. They drew in four, sorry for that. While Marseille, they won three times, draw, recorded a draw in three games, and they lost four. In their last 10 matches. Now, you look at their last 10 matches. I must say it's, there isn't a big difference between that, uh, between how those teams have been performing. The difference is minute. I think the difference comes in this particular point where we realize that last three matches by Marseille have taken a winning trajectory. And we can count on them to replicate the wins in this particular game. And that is why we were betting on Marseille to be winning at an order of one. I mean, Marcel to be winning or a draw to occur at an order of 1.248. You combine these matches, you get a summation of 4.978 odds. The booking codes are available on the screen. Now, before I mention the final bet slip, ensure you are liking the video, smashing the subscribe button, and sharing the video once you are done. In our final bet slip, we have the first game from Turkey Superliga. Kayseri Sport playing Pendix Sport. 
Kayseri Sport this season, they have a solid home record. And the solid home record is giving them an edge. It's giving them an edge in this particular game. And another thing to be noted before making the prediction is that the away team, Pendix Po, they have the worst defense this season. They have conceded the highest number of goals this season in Turkey Superliga. And so we bet on Kayseri Sport to win or a draw to occur. The odd is 1.274. And then we have our next game, Istanbul, Basar, Sekir, or whatever, playing Hataya Sport. Now, the last three games played by both sides, they have been filled with goals, and all have scored at least one goal in their last three matches individually. Now, the last four to head rec- the last four head-to-head records between these two teams also recorded over 2.5 goals, and the last head-to-head match witnessed the game ending in a both teams to score. The scoreline was 3-3. So I think that uh, once again, I think that once again, we will be having an open match whereby over 1.5 goals is highly likely. And we bet on that, the odd is 1.27. And then we have Gazi and Tap playing at Traps on Spore, a game from Turkey Superliga. Gazi and Tap are desperate to end their 10 match. And okay, let me tell you this. When Gazi and Tap and Trabs on Spore are playing, we look at their head-to-head record and we focus on the 10 matches, the last 10 matches they played each other. We realize that uh, Trabs on Spore has beaten Gazi and Tap in all the 10 matches. Or we can say that uh, Gazi and uh, Trabs on Spore have failed to win. Oh, no, 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 sorry for that. Gazi and Tap have failed to win in the last 10 matches. So we say that uh, they are desperate. They are desperate to end that run in the last 10 matches without recording a win against Trabs on Sport. That is not encouraging. And that is something they are aiming to end today. So it's going to be a difficult game for them. Uh, we expect them to put up a fight, but we know very well that Trabs on Sport, they are also in a position whereby they can win, they can score goals. And I think that is why my betting tip is inclined to the over market, and we are betting on over 1.5 goals at an odd of 1.26. Now, the rest of the games are from England Premier League. We have Luton playing Manchester City. I do not have to add a reasoning to this game because I had done that on the game week prediction video for England Premier League. You can go ahead and watch it. The link will be available in the pinned comment section. Uh, we are betting on Manchester City victory. The odd is 1.244. I've realized that the odds has increased today. And then we have Fulham playing West Ham, a game from England Premier League. We are betting on over 1.5 goals. The odd is 1.25. And finally, Tottenham playing Newcastle United. I am backing Tottenham to be winning or a draw to occur, the odd is 1.378. You combine the odds for the six matches, you get 4.368 odds. And that wraps up our final bet slip for today, giving us a perfect time to now select the matches you are supposed to be betting on. Now, we want you, I want you to do this in the comment section today. I have analyzed 23 matches in total. I know you're going to be betting on a given bet slip, you are going to be selecting few games, let's say two games, three games, forming your bet slip. Please, after forming your bet slip, come back and share your bet slip in the comment section. I want to see you, what you think about the today's matches. I want to see what, how you structure your games, how you combine your games into the bet slip. So please, in the comment section, take a moment, drop what you are betting on, what you are backing on, all your bet slips, if you have five bet slips that you are betting on today, remember the aim is to edit these games that I've shared to you, to you this morning into simpler versions. So in the comment section, please, please, please comment, comment your bet slip. I'll quickly give you a few games that I think are amazing, amazing selections for me this, uh, this particular Sunday. One game I must mention was a uh, Waljik over one... The Fortuna City vs. Waljik game, over 1.5 goals. I remember mentioning the game was a good game. And I must mention Manchester City winning is a perfect option this, despite uh, the odds increasing. I know it's because of the lineup issues. The other game that I remember highlighting to be an amazing option to consider today was this particular game. No. 
How unfortunate because I did. Wow. The Converse mains game, I remember doing the analysis. I never just added the game in any bad slip. So Colne considered a goal in all their home matches this season. Colne at home this season, they have won once, lost four times, and they have drawn once. Now Mainz away this season, they have lost three, they have drawn four times. So neither team seems to be in a decent form. And if you look at the odds for double chance for Mainz, I believe it's higher. That is why I forgot to include this game in any bet slip. I think the perfect score for this game, Col vs Mainz, is a score of 1-1. The odds is going to be around 1.5 something or 1.6 something. That is what I call getting when I did the analysis. So Col vs Mainz game, it is an interesting game. You can consider it too. I've not included it in any bet slip because I thought I ignored the game, but when I was going through the best games that I selected for today, I realized that it's a game that I considered. So Converse means the betting tip is means to win or a draw to occur. The other game I think I was considering uh, was a risky one, kind of risky, so I don't know if I'll mention it, but I think Nise was Reims, Nise to win or a draw to occur at an odd of 1.273. I also mark that one to be an amazing bet for today. And the final one was Celtic to win either half. That was an amazing bet I also marked for today. Now in the comment section, don't forget to drop me what you're thinking, what your predictions, what your best bets are in the comment section. Until next time, good luck, all the best, like the video, click the subscribe button, share the video with a friend, and I wish you nothing but a success, a success this Sunday. Until next time, good luck, goodbye, and let us meet tomorrow Monday. Take care.